welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to brew shampoo step by step. If you'd like to know more about how to brew teas, techniques, and skills, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. In today's video, we're going to show you how to brew this shampoo in a gaiwan, a yixin teapot, or in a grandpa style mug. So without further ado, let's get started. Usually, shampoo comes in a press form, either it's a cake or brick or um, a tool. So this one I have here is a 200 gram cake. Uh, in terms of a breaking, I think a rule of thumb is don't hurt yourself. Blood and tea is not a pairing. And ideally, you want to have as much whole leaf as possible. I usually go to the side to find the easy spot, but a lot of times I couldn't keep the leaf whole. So I just go trying to pick some. If you have a pour that is very densely pressed, feel free to check out our video on how to break those tough pours. It would be really helpful. So here, I think I got enough for our brewing today. To brew shampoo in Kung Fu style with a gaiwan, all you need is a gaiwan, a serving pot, and a tasting cup. I personally love to use a filter with it so that my liquor is clear, but it's also optional. Once the water is boiled, it's time to start brewing. I brewed many infusions with this tea. If I have sufficient time, I will keep going and give it longer steeps. But if I'm in a hurry, I will just dump those leaves in a travel mug and add some hot water and you're ready to go with some travel tea. To brew a shampoo in a yixin teapot, all you need is a yixin teapot, a serving pot, and a tasting cup. Again, I like to use the filter for it. First, we're going to warm up all the vessels.
impression poor in grandpa style, all you need is a mug. Bring the water to the boil. First of all, warm up the cup. Dump in the leaf. And let's fill it up. 